What's going on here? What's this guy doing? At center, number 25, Max Talbot. Hello? Borky, what are you doing? What's up, man? How are you? What are you doing? Just hanging out. Really? Hey, listen, I'm going to Duncan for a coffee. You want to join me? Sure. Come why on, not? get in, buddy. Let's go. Oh, my God, this is awesome. <laughs> what? How you doing, buddy? Good. Good to see Very you, good. man. Me too. Yeah, it's good. Just in town for a little visit? Yeah, just hanging out. Maybe yeah. maybe catch a Penguins game. Good, man. No? Good, man. man. I've been meaning to catch up with you. It's been a long time. It's been a while. Way yeah. too long. Yeah, man. I love coming back to town. Do you love it? Oh, I feel like it's home. Yeah? Home away from home. Really, Real, Really. Yeah. When I go across the, the, the tunnel yeah. and I see the city, I always have shivers. And I can't wait to bring my kids here. Yeah. You know, like to show them the city, the sure. story. Sure. And when they're old enough to like realize like, you know, what is it about yeah. the Pittsburgh Penguins and yeah. what was the part of it in, in their father's life? Yeah, sure. But but for me, like I said, it's it's by far the you know the, the team in the city I was the most part of. You have a persona here in Pittsburgh, you know, superstar, wild and crazy guy. You know, were you always that guy or is that something that grew with more success that you had? I was always that guy. Always that guy. I, I never really changed. I'm no. pretty authentic. <laughs> Where'd you get that from? Your mom and your dad? Yeah, the, oh. my mom. I like to have fun. I like to be positive. I feel fortunate to be able to play hockey. And one thing was important that comes with popularity or being like famous was you can go to the hospital visit or you can go and walk in, in Carson Street and people recognize you and it takes five minutes and you just like... You always took time. You can make uh, a, someone's days better, you know? And for me, that was important. How can I start for you? How you doing? Can I get a couple cappuccinos, please? Thank you. Much, Appreciate thank Duncan. You. All right. Thank you very See much. You. Go Pens. Hey, Talbo. July 1, 2011. I think that's a date a lot of people, uh, Penguin fans, will remember. Yeah. Max Talbot becomes a Philadelphia Flyer. Do we Will have you, to talk about that? No, yeah, we do need to talk about it. Because I get it. I mean, a lot of people get it. You know, that you were a free agent. It's one of those things. It's kind of like when Ryan Malone went to the Tampa Bay Lightning. You, you say... You shake his hand and say, thank you, man. Thank you for everything. That's a great contract. Good yeah. luck down the road. But there's but no the rivalry. But no, not with Tampa, but with the Flyers. How, how much did you go back and forth when you finally said yes to Philly? Looking back, yes, it hurt. It was a tough, tough decision. I'm very fortunate and glad and happy that the people in Pittsburgh actually forgave me. Yeah, they did. For leaving. Yeah, for they did. Most but, of them did. But you have such a relationship with Philly. I mean, so much good and so much bad. You think your first NHL goal, right? Yeah. yeah. What do you remember about that? Well, that was uh, in Philly. Just a great shot. <laughs> just, you know, skill. Skill right there. Position, Forsberg. How about that between the legs? A little play to go around. Oh, I mean, you cannot turn it. Oh, we scored! We scored right off the face off. The Penguins just scored, folks. How about that? The goaltender doesn't even know it's in the net. Nobody does. <laughs> it's so funny because I tied the game 5 5 in the third for that. We oh, got a point right. in the standings. And. Crazy. I shot from the red line, right? Winning a face off at the old Chuck's like Max change. And then I'm on the ice with Ryan Vandenbush and Andre Roy. And I shoot the puck on net. And I'm on the bench when we realize the puck's on the net. And there's Mario, Leclerc, Rex, and we're all Malone, I think. And like we're all celebrating. And, yeah. and the ref's not sure if the puck's in the net. Like we had to review it. So it was, uh, uh, you know, no better way. No but away. way. <laughs> wow. When you finally decide that uh, things aren't going to work out in the NHL, you finish up with the Bruins, you're in Providence, you're in Boston. And I remember talking to you during that year and you were thinking, man, I don't know, maybe Europe, Europe might be the way to go. Was that tough to pull the trigger on that to uh, head over to Russia? Russia was, was, it was good for you, wasn't it? It was amazing. Yeah. So Europe came to my mind and that team called right away. It was fantastic. Three great years. Like last year we were in Moscow. Talk about your wife, Cynthia. Yeah, it happened fast. And for me, I, I kind of knew that when I was going to find the one, like I was going to be like, okay, yeah. let's get engaged, marry, yeah. boom, boom, kids, kids. Right. And now looking back, it's been seven years together. We have three kids. Our oldest is six, four, two. Tell you what, man. Eighth round draft pick, man. You changed hockey in Pittsburgh. I Not just your that. whole time, but really, man. Think about it. Game seven. Yeah. I remember talking to you before game seven. I remember the one thing we did in our little interview, and the one thing you brought up was about your mom. And your mom had gone through some health stuff. Yeah. And how much that game meant to you. 
And you knew, didn't you? You knew before that game you were going to do something special. How many times have you dreamed about this Game 7 situation when you were a kid? Uh, you know, just going over it. How many times have you had the school game winning goal? Oh, all the time. <laughs> In my head, I always scored a game winning goal. And, you know, it's fun, but, uh, you know, uh, now it's going to be for real. Obviously, you dream about this game. You dream about, you know, playing it, uh, having a chance to raise the cup and stuff. It comes down to one game, so it's, uh, it's obviously really exciting. And, uh, you know, uh, we're ready for it. And there's something we did throughout the year, me and you, you know. Uh, <laughs> once in a while, Borky, you would, I would tell you, to, I'm feeling it tonight. I'm feeling it. And we would bet $25. For number 25. For number 25. Yeah. That if I would not score, I would give you 25. Right. But on games I had a feeling I was going <laughs> to score, you were going to give me 25. So I remember we met on the morning, we had this interview in the morning of game seven, and we pounded on. Yeah. We're like, 25, yeah. it's on. It's on, 25. Yeah. And uh, after the game, <laughs> and I, it's still in my office. Is it? Like, yeah. it is in my office. And it's, uh, you, ha you, you wrote on it, you have the heart on the lion. Yeah. Uh, congrats, game seven forever or something like that. $50 bill. $50 bill. Five times two. Yeah, yeah, it was great. It's awesome, man. You know, I love Thanks you, bro. Same oh, here. Thanks for doing this. No problem. All right, good.